Good morning. Well, notice a rise in temperatures today. You could notice a bit of milder air once you step outside. Both lows and highs will be about three to four degrees higher than yesterday. Cold wave alerts have lifted in many parts, while dry weather alerts are still in place across much of the country, including here in the capital. Humidity levels could go as low as 25 percent. But some sleet this evening in Seoul should put some moisture back into the air. And Seoul will have a high of 3 degrees Celsius, while Taewon Busan will get up to 5 and 10 degrees respectively. It's going to be a freezing weekend, and especially those of you planning to head out on Sunday, you'll need to dress extra warmly. With that, let's take a look at the international weather for years around the world. While many of us in South Korea will get brief relief from cold wave this afternoon, many regions in North Korea will still have negative afternoon highs along with snowfall. And as for the rest of Asia, Beijing, where President Moon Jae-in is on a state visit, will have similar temperature reading patterns to Seoul on Friday, but will have a plenty of sunshine. Meanwhile, seasonally heat in Sydney will get eased along with a mix of rain and clouds on Friday. Heading to North America, it's going to be a cold and cloudy Friday in New York, but it's forecast to be even colder along with a bit of snow on the weekend. And as for South America, major cities will have a similar weather conditions to Thursday, but will be a tad warmer. And as for Europe, most major cities will have a wet Friday. It will either snow or rain depending on the region. Lastly, to Africa, bright skies and warm highs are in the forecast for most of major cities. And that's all the weather update for now.